today is murli another beautiful murli uh, the foundation murli where baba is talking about the three dots soul baba drama so baba says originally spoken on january 25th 1980 the essence for murli is the meeting of the point with the points the meeting of the bindu with the bindu and the first bindu is baba the supreme soul the ocean of knowledge and then the second bindu is the souls today bab dada has just come to meet all of you you have heard many murlis the sense of all murlis is in just one word which is bindu the point all images all the details are merged in this one point each of you have become a point haven't you be a point remember the point and apply the point full stop third point to anything that happens. Be a point, remember the point, and apply the point, put a full stop to anything that happens. You easily experience this, do you not? By understanding this, very subtle and powerful essence all of you can become subtle angels. And the play, all of you will become subtle angels and play your parts as master almighty authority. Is this essence easy or difficult to understand? What do you double foreigners think? Is it easy? Or is it doubly easy for you double foreigners? Bab Dada now wants to see all of you as an embodiment of this essence. Embodiment of essence. What is the essence? Be a point. Remember the point and put the full stop. Point. Let each one become a divine mirror in which all human souls can see the complete reflection of their three aspects of time. Each one become a divine mirror. Divya Darpan. In which all human beings can see the complete reflection of their Adi Madhya Ant. Three aspects of time. Are you such mirrors that can grant them a vision of this three aspects by clearly seeing in the mirror of all three aspects of the time what they were what they are now and what they will receive in the future they will easily be attracted to the father and come to claim their inheritance from him why does Baba want you to become a divine Darpan? Darpan in which everyone can see their Adi Madhya Ant. By seeing their own, what they were, what they are now and what they will become future, they will be attracted to the father. And they will come to Baba to take their inheritance. So, to do Baba's service, to spread the message, to bring souls closer to Baba, become a divine mirror. Divya Darpan. When they have this vision of who they are, what they are now and what they are becoming, that is, when they recognize this as clearly as if they are actually seeing it, when they understand this, experience this and see that 
the thirst and desire they have had for many births to go to a board of liberation and to heaven can now be fulfilled, they will easily be attracted and come to you. Again, Baba is elaborating on why do they get pulled to Baba to take inheritance? When they have this vision of Adi Madhya and they, when they recognize this as clearly as if they are actually seeing it, when they understand it, not only understand, but experience this and see that the thirst and desire they had for, for many births and the thirst and desire is to go to have mukti, go abode of liberation and to heaven, jivan mukti can now be fulfilled. The deepest desires can now be fulfilled. They will easily be attracted and come to you. There are two types of such souls. Devotee souls who want to be merged in love and others who want to merge in the light. One merged in love, other merged in light. Both type of souls wants to be merged. By giving such souls Baba's introduction in a second and telling them about the father's praise and what they can attain from him, you will enable them to experience the stage of being merged in love through a relationship. When they are merged in love, they will easily understand what being merged really means. Magna. So, it's important that you enable souls to experience being merged in love at the present time. Show them the way to become merged. And your task of creating your future subjects will easily be achieved. Have you become such divine mirrors, Divya Darpan? that you can make other souls trikal darshi. Take a photo of the result of your effort at every moment through this divine mirror and see whether you remained powerful or whether you went into wastefulness. You would be able to see both the wasteful and powerful poses. What would be the powerful pose be? That of the master almighty authority who is constantly seated on the heart throne. What would be the wasteful pose be? It would be that of a warrior who is constantly battling. He would not be seated on the heart throne but standing on the battlefield. To be seated on the heart throne means to be an image of success. And to stand on a battlefield means to be an image of laboring. You would labor even over a trivial matter. One would be an embodiment of remembrance, Smriti Swaru, and others are embodiment of complaints. When you are able to see your own true form, you will also be able to grant vision of three aspects of time to others. So, become such divine mirrors. Do you understand? Baba is asking us to become a divine mirror. So that souls can see their three forms. And what is the what do they see in three forms? They see their deepest desire is getting fulfilled. Desire to get mukti and jiva mukti. There are souls who want to get merged in love. There are souls who wants to get merged in the love. And Baba is telling 
how to get merged in Baba Slav. And Baba is telling what are the different poses when you are merged in the waist and when you are merged in the powerful. So today, Baba will meet double foreigners and those from Gujarat. Both are dancing in harmony. Those people dance and these people too dance a lot. Those from Gujarat are embodiment of love. Sneha Swaru. And the double foreigners also come running here because of the love they experience. As well as receiving knowledge, you have also received love. This spiritual love has made you belong to Baba, God. You receive double love. Love from Baba and love from the family. This experience of love has made you into moths. Love works like a magnet for foreigners. Because of love, you are ready to listen to anything. You are even ready to die because of love. You like this dying, do you not? This dying means you go to heaven. This is why when someone dies, People say that he has gone to heavenly abode, Swargavasi. When those people die, they don't go to heaven. But those who die in the confluence age do go to heaven. When someone dies and leaves his body, the papers, the copy, this, copy this and print that that person has gone to heaven. What is that? When someone dies and leaves his body, the papers copy this. Something is happened. When we say that person has gone to heaven, okay. So you like this dying, do you not? You have, you have died by choice, not by force. This whole gathering is of those who die, who have died alive. Your breath isn't still caught up anywhere in the old world, is it? It is wonderful to see how those who died can still laugh. Foreigners are laughing at what Baba was saying. Let's uh, double check what is that. Just want to double check. <laughs> it said any typos here. Are my reading wrong? This is 80 January. Something happened there. Okay, something. Let's see. Today, Baba is meeting double partners. Okay. Love is like a magnet for foreigners. Through, through love, you are ready to listen to anything. You are even ready to die. You like this dying, do you not? This dying means to go to heaven. This is why when someone dies, people say that he has gone to heaven. Those people who die do not go to heaven, but those in the confluence age who die do go to heaven. When someone dies and leaves his body, the papers, the copies, Copy this and print that. That person has gone to heaven. 
what is this so you like this dime do you not you have died sorry i don't understand what this is something happened maybe i'm missing something here Okay, so that we need to see what is going on there. So anyhow, so Baba is making a point that when somebody dies in a confluence age, we really go to heaven. When somebody dies, they don't go to heaven. So you like this dying, do you not? You have died through your own choice, not through compulsion. This whole gathering is of those who have died alive. Your breath is not, not still caught up anywhere in the old world, is it? It is marvelous to see how those who had died can still laugh. It is Christian philosophy that the corpse are resurrected into life. First, he becomes a corpse and then he was resurrected to life. This There is a pleasure in this dying. Is there not? There is no fear, is there? So Baba is talking about dying alive. Let me see if I can get this thing in Hindi. Maybe that will explain a little bit. Or even I read, I felt, I got that. Yeah, cool. So the rest of the Murli we can read tomorrow. But we can take a little pause and let's meditate on what Baba has said. So Baba is giving the essence of the whole Murli. Essence of the Murli is just one word, not even a complete word, it's just a dot. Become a point, remember the point, and put a full stop to whatever is happening. Become very subtle. Become very transparent. Whoever comes across. They can see through their own past, present, and future. All their deepest desires are getting fulfilled. Desire to be mukti, to get mukti and jivan mukti. Give them an experience of being merged, merged in Baba's loving light. and become that who 
spiritual magnet who attracts everyone with your spiritual loving presence. Dying to the old. Very much alive to the eternal. A very subtle but a sensible murli where Baba is asking us to become that subtle angel, angel who is not only an embodiment of love but also a Divya Darpan is not only uplifting others but also fulfilling the deepest desires. Desire of being Mukti and Jeevan Mukti. So what is that? One point one practice that helps you to go beyond. What is that one practice that keeps you in, keeps you merged in Baba's love? It is a win. Yes, brother. Yeah, anyone who wants to share, unmute yourself and share. Uh, in last paragraph, uh, Baba gave an example no, of Christianity where Jesus was um, uh, resurrected. Mm -hmm. yeah, the soul yeah, resurrected. Uh, he mm -hmm. came to back to life. No? Like that also we are first becoming a corpse and then, and then coming back to our life. Means the Marjiva, mm -hmm. not of dying. This is very wonderful example Baba gave today. Uh, not of dying. If we are in this, we uh, our two poses, jo, uh, Baba is saying here, na, wasteful pose will be off. Na? Mm. That uh, we will be in our uh, constantly uh, powerful pose. That powerful force will not uh, uh, be up and down. That uh, we are, uh, we will not going laboring. We will be constantly in our inner joy. You know that mm -hmm. I got very nice of this Murli. Thank you, thank you, Baba. Thank you. Anyone else? Om Shanti, Prata. Om Shanti. Once again, Ved Baba always speaks about this easy yoga, Raj Yoga. Why he calls it as easy yoga when compared to the oceans of scriptures and so much of expansion of knowledge whether it is the Gita or whether it is the Bhagavat, so much of knowledge is there. Baba says Raj Yoga is just. Sometimes he says uh, it's Allah and Bay, but here today he says it's just a dot. 
just a point. And when he has given these three things to be done, it is actually three aspects to remember, that is the soul become a point. Then what do I do after just becoming a point? Do I just freeze there? Then I remember the point, the supreme. So self, God, and then nothing else. The whole uh, thing continues, that is the drama, put a point. So various analogy or various way, uh, ways he gives us, comes around these three things. But I just uh, wanted to say, I don't remember which Murli, it was a month back or something, where it was said, before you become a point, you must know there exists the point, the father. So only when the awareness of a point that is the source, the father, that knowledge comes in me, can I become a point? So I really tried that because otherwise, if you see when we do in our morning meditation, we say, okay, become a point and now go on your journey, remember the point. So can we just uh, throw some more light on this? Because uh, I know uh, it's, it's just to clarify my journey in this. Is it uh, first remember the point and then become a point or become a point and remember part the point? Somebody back, I remember Baba had said, awareness of the father is needed first. Could, if you could just throw some light on it. Mm. Yeah. I'm, either way is fine, I feel, based on where we are. Where we are means like where our awareness is. So you sometimes, um, you know, especially we, yesterday we had a workshop where we were actually reflecting on this kind of things. One of the things is uh, when, when we get into a state of total uh, uh, asar sansar, right? Like there is no sar, no essence, there is no hope, uh, there is no desire. Like, you know, especially one of the signs of depression is just sitting in the bed, just laying in the bed and don't even want to get out. So there is no desire, right? So one of the things that is needed for to have yoga is to have a desire. So when we remember Baba, when we think about Baba, the ocean of love, ocean of peace, when the desire kicks in that, oh, and then that can jump start like, oh, if I want to experience that, then I have to become soul conscious. And then I can be not only conscious of Baba, but I also can take Baba's love and light. Right? So if, if everything is going flat, you need something to fire up. And remembering Baba first can create a desire to experience something pure and beautiful. I think yesterday's Murli, where Baba was talking about uh, um, uh, so where was there about the Maya and Ravan where uh, we, soul is an entity, Baba is an entity, but uh, Ravan is not an entity, neither a Maya. You cannot put a finger and then say like, look, this is Ravan catch him and put him in a jail. <laughs> but you can point, oh, this is Baba, this is Shiva Baba, that is Brahma Baba, this is Mama, this is me, this is you. We can put a finger. But you cannot put a finger to this thing is Maya, that thing is Ravan. It's not an entity by itself. Right? And uh, so one of the things about uh, Ravan or Maya I was churning on that and the, the, the whole concept of Ravan and Maya is nothing but a phenomena. And what is that phenomena? It is a phenomena, in other words, called entropy, which, where we say like the energy of the soul is all dissipated. You're all scattered. You're not even focused. You're not even aware of your own self. All our 
past emotions and experiences of the bodily experiences and worldly experiences, experience with senses or a period of time, everything else mixed up in our sense of who we are. In other words, we are all scattered. And that scatter, whatever that thing's making you scattered is Ravan or whatever that is taking you away from Baba is Ravan. I, th I think the point is, Maya takes you away from Baba's remembrance. And that is where we were thinking, like, what is that thing? It is not a thing or entity. It is a phenomena. It is being scattered. It is being not focused. Right? And how do you jumpstart that process? You need to have a desire to experience something which is refined, something which is pure, something which is, which is uh, fulfilling. And the minute you think about Baba... Baba is always pure, always blissful. Sat Shri Akal. And he is always blissful. Satyam Shivam Sundaram. And then when you say like Sundaram, oh, something is beautiful, something is worth experiencing and then your desire starts. So then your your scattered mind starts to pull together and then start focusing and engaging <laughs> you know and then coming back to today's mill it is like focus to one point and be a focused self and focus on who you are focusing right and then put a full stop to everything else all this scattered mind right it's scattered in heart is scattered everywhere in this person and that person in this experience, that experience. It's all over in the past, everywhere, right? So be a point means let's pull yourself together, be a focused self and then focused on that essence of everything else and then put a full stop to everything else. And if you actually see what am I fighting against is that scattered self. And that is Maya, that is Ravan, that is body consciousness, that is uh, vices, that is everything else. And what is being focused is your essence, your your virtues, powers, divinity, everything is in that essence full state. So so, so I, I like this this Muli where Baba is telling like this is it. If you uh, essence is everything is thing, one thing, point. Or you can rephrase it as focused. You're pulling yourself together, you're pulling your mind, you're pulling your emotions, you're pulling your sense of self together as who you originally are and let go of everything, your bodily experience, your traumas, your dramas and your relationships, let go of everything else and then stay focused and then, then focus on one who is the ocean <laughs> and then put full stop to everything else. These three points makes everything. I hope I didn't confuse you. <laughs> no, so what uh, I feel, you use the word scattered vision. So maybe, Entropy. Entropy. Yeah. So maybe yeah. this applies during uh, the corporate when devotees. No, even now? Of, no, now the vision, now everyone, now there is knowledge. Now, oh, confluence, okay, if you speak okay. of real confluence, there is knowledge. Knowledge mm. of who God is. But we never, devotees, come what may, the highest devotee or anything, he was mm. running after that point. He was running to get a glimpse of mm. that point. He was running to experience that point. But he didn't know the point. He was running to be merged with that point. So, mm. there may be, that is why Baba's uh, says that awareness of who is the point is needed. But now, for me to understand that point, I have to first become the point. So I, mm. I was just thinking, is it one, two, two, one? So I think it all depends upon the extent of my intellect. Like, mm. uh, if I have to understand that from scattered, that focused vision, that source, that thing, I have mm. become like that. So I think that's it. Because that really, I, this be yes, a yeah. point, it, it's a beautiful journey, like uh, how, but uh, I have no, still I have not come across, um, as you said, only through discussion and workshop uh, can be understood. But now when you use the word scattered vision, 
that gave me a tickling of the mind oh maybe mm. baba is speaking about all these uh, devotee children of mine who used to run run here and there not knowing but they are points see they know they are souls mm. that that feeling is there maybe i i, I think it's it's a nice thing to understand the point becoming a point and know mm. them thank you brother sure thing yeah it's always good to have newness you know so we might have heard the same thing many times but it is good to because there is a lot of depth in it so we should definitely explore uh, in different uh, perspectives and then try to get the depth in depth of it yeah sanjeev bhai uh, om shanti om shanti uh, today in the murli baba is making us aware the athart knowledge is that and the reality is that we all are points we all are soul we are not body as we have come from param dham to this uh, sakari world we have acquired the body and in that process at certain relationships and considering them as the truth baba is making us aware that this body is not the truth you have acquired it here the real truth is that you belong to the world of nirakar mm -hmm. you are in nirakar you are a point that's the fact baba is telling you have to be aware of that and baba what about the baba's knowledge is just to make us aware that you are not a body you are a point as in this sakari world we have acquired the body satya aur deh ke sambandh mujhe apne lagte hain जस्ट बाबा इज मेकिंग अस अवेयर जो तुम्हें अपने लगते हैं वो वो सही नहीं सत्य नहीं है वो तुम्हें लगते हैं है नहीं फॉर दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड द रियलिटी टू मेकिंग अस अवेयर माय डियर चाइल्ड यू आर अ पॉइंट एंड नाउ एज बिकॉज यू हैव फॉरगॉटन दैट यू आर अ पॉइंट यू विल रियलाइज ओनली एंड ओनली इफ यू विल मीट दैट पॉइंट योर फादर हु इज आल्सो अ पॉइंट so baba is talking about the meeting of the point when we meet our father mm. then we realize that he has i am a point that is realizing that i am a point is becoming gyan swarupa and gyan murta and baba is uh, asking about one and i want additional thing gyan murta and gyan swarupa is okay nice by that you realize that you are a point but you have to also become a gyan amrit Mm. So that whosoever comes in contact with you will also realize that. So Baba says that uh, uh, when the foreigners come and meet you, they experience that love, and due to due to that love only they come to you. Baba again into this Murli is talking about devotees that uh, they want to be uh, merged in the love. and baba is talking about the gyan gyan swarup and gyan murt children who like to immerse in the light so that the contrast of bhakti and gyan that love okay that is also a reality but the thing is that the you are not a point you are not realize it because see if you enjoy a lot of thing suppose a person is drunk and he feels that he is enjoying Mm. but when he comes in sense he will find that yes jo chal raha tha wo garbad tha galat tha mm. so baba says that unless and until you become a point that actually who you are you have to realize for that for that when you realize that you are a point then you find it yes uh, that uh, i was merged in the love it's the best that you have to become gyan swarupa and merge in the light of baba because baba's light what i really uh, find it that the word light l stands for lawful and loveful if we become lawful and loveful that baba's we following srimad sa baba if you following srimad of baba we will experience the love okay being even being in the body you can experience that love but the real love of baba only only we experience when we become lawful that will follow shrimat 
And the next letter I, Baba says, that unless and until you introspect yourself, unless and until your journey is inward, then only you will realize the real love of Baba. And in another letter, G, Gyan Sarupa and Gyan Mur. Unless and until you become Gyan Sarupa and Gyan Mur, then only you will realize that you are a point. And then only you will become Gyan Amrit. And then only you can do the service. H, Baba says that you have to be very, very honest. And T, then start the real transformation. You really, actually you, are, you, have, you have forgotten that you are a point. Now the transformation will take place. You are of the view that you are scattered, as you very nicely exp uh, explained. You are, you are scattered. But with the knowledge of Baba, with the union of Baba, with the midpoint, meeting the point, the real transformation takes place. You realize who you are. And with the awareness that I am a point, you change yourself, not only change, transform yourself, but you also transform the world. That's what Baba wants, Om Shanti. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Har Harsha Bhai, I really love this journey which we are trying to explore. So I'm going to say, am I just going like that? Oh, I suddenly I see one <laughs> point of source. That is Baba. Am I going to go like that? Or am I going to say, I am a point. Can I see any other powerful point? I think that's a nice journey. But I want you to add something more in the Mudli which is given about this Divya divine mirror. Yeah. I remember yeah. Sudesh Didi always used to say Divya yeah. Darpan Bhavishya Darshan and she used yeah. to say destiny is not a chance but a choice. But what is this Divya Darpan today Baba is mentioning? Is it the divine intellect? Is it the divine eye? Or is it the uh, if I look deep within my heart and if I stand in front of the mirror, it will only show me the present. But if I know the spiritual laws and everything and then I go and stand in front of the mirror, I can see beyond my image. I can see me in not this pack of bones and flesh, but maybe I could see like, is it that? It's very interesting. Different people see different things uh, with this divine mirror. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a divine intellect. Can you just give some more thing about this beautiful gift? And as far as today's Murli is concerned, how is Baba relating? Mm -hmm. uh, may, I, uh, may I add one point to that, what sister asked? Mm -hmm. Let's see, when we become Gyan Sarupa and Gyan Murta, so we become a mirror for others. Mm. When we become 100% what Gyan is, and whosoever comes to us can find us. That, that is, we are becoming a mirror. That's what I feel. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah no, beautiful. Just to add to that, see, so you are becoming a mirror. See, in yes. other words, I was, I was like Sanjay Bhai also was telling, like, it, it's uh, the presence. It's not just my intellect. It is not just my heart. It is not just the vibe I am putting it out. It is total me. I myself am becoming like a mirror. I, and then how is that, that me being so pure and transparent, others can see their future, their past and their present. And, and and I like this point where uh, uh, as your consciousness, you pull others into your consciousness. Say, for example, if uh, uh, if you are talking to somebody else and then if you are upset and then all of a sudden your tone goes up, your voice goes up, without their knowledge, their voice also goes up. <laughs> In other words, whatever body, whatever emotions I am in, I pull others into those emotions. It is not just restricted to the emotions, but also I am pulling them into my consciousness. So in other words, my presence is pulling their consciousness into that level and then they can see through their own stuff. Because I am not... Um, tampering their perception of themselves. Like in other words, we also say that whole world is the mirror 
and uh, everyone is a mirror of yourself and how they're responding is they're responding to what you are putting out in the world. So in a way, they are just reflecting what energy you are putting it out. In a way, they're all mirrors and you're just looking whatever energy that you're putting it out. But in the same, you, you just imagine they are not tampering with their, just imagine, right? Like the other person is not adding their ego into the into the mix. Whatever energy that you're putting it out, they're just reflecting back. You know, if I say something, they imagine something else and then they add their emotions to that and then they reflect back in their, in their response, right? Just imagine the other person has no ego, very transparent, unconditional, no hurt, nothing, right? Like, so whatever you're putting out, that is what is coming back. So coming back to being a Divya Darpan, when I am so pure and transparent, whoever comes in front of me, first of all, they will be pulled into whichever awareness I am in. Yes. You will be in Trikaldarshi state because you are in that point form. <laughs> when you are in that point form, you pull them beyond wherever they are absorbed in, preoccupied with. You pull them out of wherever they are stuck, first of all. And then you you pull them out of their own mess, whatever they are they are stuck in, whichever awareness they are stuck in. In other words, you pull them out of their body consciousness because you are soul conscious. You pull them because you are more powerful than their weakness. So you pull them out of their weakness and then bring them into this state of power. So then they, they can see through their own past, present and future. Why they are feeling is just imagine if somebody is stuck in that uh, some emotional roller coaster and then they say like, oh, why am I going through this? Why, why, why? Right. And then when you in your complete and perf perfect form come before them, you pull them out of that awareness of why, 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 which is like a stuck state. And then they, when you pull them out, then they can see through that, oh, I'm free now. I can see why I was feeling that way. And what is it that I did and what is it that is going to happen? And then you can see past and future. You're not just stuck. So, so my presence pulls them out of their mess. <laughs> and then they can see through their own full circle, like past, present and future. I mean, I'm just churning out that. And one more thing that comes to my mind when I was reading this monthly was, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, there was a blessing in which Baba was talking about, you are becoming Siddhi Swarup. You are not doing some uh, magic, you know, miracles, uh, like a new, new souls, right? But you are Siddhi Swarup with your Siddhi Swarup, you do a miracle of yeah. making soul sparkle. Do you remember that blessing? Yesterday or day before yesterday? I was thinking like, wow, is that what we are made of? You are so powerful that you make soul sparkle in the soul world. Like the stars in the sky, <laughs> you know. Do you remember that blessing? Yeah. And I was thinking like, wow, that is the kind of presence. And then this is another variation of Baba is telling how powerful is your presence. What your presence can make a difference in the world. Difference in other people, other souls. Right. So, so again, this all boils down to the first point of <laughs> be in your uh, uh, essence full form. Essence full means like, you know, Sato Pradhan essence of the truth not just truth you are the essence of the whole truth and that is point form and that is that that shows up in this different expressions hope uh, uh, om shanti brother I, I really like uh, i just one point i really like this mirror what you said uh, harshbai 
And I remember when I was young, you know, I used to read these long poems and all. One was, of course, Mirror, Mirror on the Wall, who's the beautiful of them all. But I used to like, Mirror, Mirror, do you see mm. uh, the reflections? And then the mirror says, no, what you're seeing is only clay. Your real beauty is inside. So I used wow. to feel that beyond that, you know, I could see the lights and all. And then I remember a thing, a kind, I don't know whether it was Ramakrishna who said, uh, you are the light that you seek. So if I stand ah. in front of the mirror and I look for the light, I will not see myself. I can see the light beyond. That's what mm -hmm. when Sanjay Bhai was sharing about this, merged in love and merged in light. I was just thinking, I don't think I want to be merged in life. It's not a humbar masmi for me. I want to be and enjoy the light as I am light. That's I right. never you want are. to be merged. In. Then yeah. how, will, how can I get merged? So I was, I was also thinking about those contradictory things which Baba was mentioning. Merged in love, fine. But I don't think merged in life. Om Shanti. Sanjay Bhai, please go ahead. Uh, Om Shanti. Uh, very nicely uh, talked, brother, uh, that uh, people will get attracted. What mm -hmm. happens when we are point? That means when we are in Nirakari, Nirvikari, Nirahankari state, we are connected to Baba. And as long as we are in that state, we are connected to Baba. And when we are connected to Baba, we get that Sankaran. So all the powers of Baba, all the qualities of Baba become my, my qualities. So whosoever comes in contact in that state of mind when I am, when I am the embodiment of knowledge, people will get attracted towards me. Whosoever is, a, uh, what say, uh, is defected will be focused. Whosoever will be, whosoever is, jo bhatak rahe, wo focus ho uh, and we we'll see that yes. Because we, I am connected to Baba. I am connected to that light. And when I am connected to that light, I am the, what say, lighthouse. Mm. Rasta dikhana. So that is also a type of darpan that we be, that yes, may yes, galat raste pe tarah ho. Yeah. In that way. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You are not um, seeking for light. You are the light. And then yeah. you become a guiding light. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Nice turning. Yeah. Anyone else wants to share before we go for meditation? Emmy Ben, Lucky Ben. Let's take a few minutes to meditate. Slow down. Become introverted, antarmukhi. Just observe your body, your mind, your heart. Whatever you are preoccupied with, slow down. And consciously release whatever emotion, whatever thoughts, and release whatever sense of self you are holding. Anything that is limited, awareness, of yourself. Become very subtle. Try to perceive your subtle presence both with your mind and your heart. Your heart is also subtle, your mind is also subtle. And 
try to feel that sense of lightness in your presence. Be aware of our home. Be aware of that pure atmosphere, that world of love, world of light. Our home is filled with the loving presence of Baba, the most beautiful. Stay in Baba's love. Try to savor this subtle An empowering love that is shining on you and that is surrounding you. You are held in Baba's loving light, held in Baba's heart throne. Absorbed in Baba's love. Baba's light. Your presence absorbed in love, Baba's love, is extending this loving light very pure, very transparent. Your presence is like a guiding light, attracting the attention of everyone. As they look at you, they are pulled into your loving light. They are held in your held in the loving light close to Baba. You get to feel that sense of freedom from all their burdens. You get to experience that experience of being merged in love in Baba's loving presence. Om Shanti, enjoy this presence for the rest of the day. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Hoshraba. Thank you to one family. See you tomorrow at 5 till 10. Have a lovely day.